On a day that Ohio honored its 2024 senior class and legendary head coach Frank Solich, the Bobcats played their most complete game of the season, dominating Buffalo 47-16. Could not be uh, more excited than what we got done today. I've used this word before, program win. Buffalo did take an early 7-3 lead when Messiah Birch found a lane and scored on a 27-yard touchdown. Ohio's offensive explosion started when Ricky Hunt Jr. answered with a 46-yard score to put the Bobcats back in front. The Bobcats followed this up with yet another big play. Parker Navarro delivered a strike to Coleman Owen, and the 65-yard pass and catch put Ohio up by 10. Late in the opening half, the Navarro to Owen connection struck for a second time, and Ohio took a 24-10 lead. Buffalo did have an opportunity with the clock ticking down in the first. However, Marcel Walker Burgess sacked Bulls QB CJ Ogbona, and the first half came to a close. Albin noted that the defensive line was dominant against the high powered Buffalo offense. There's a lot of good play, and the depth, the depth that we have in the front seven has always been, has, has helped us all year. Ohio added another TD in the third as Nolan McCormick found the house for a second straight week. Minutes later, Buffalo responded as Victor Snow caught a 21-yard pass and pushed into the end zone. The Bulls elected to go for two, and Ohio linebacker Caden Schmitz picked the pass attempt off and took it all the way back to steal the two points. Got hands on it. It was like, all right, we're going. Like, just started running, you know, and, you know, just taking back to my track days, just trying to stride out and get down that sideline. The Bobcats opened the fourth with one final offensive score on the day. It was the third for Coleman Owen on a reverse, and Ohio hit the 40-point plateau for the first time this season. They're, they're one of the best defenses in the MAC, and they give us the opportunity on offense to make plays, and, and um, it's a lot of fun when we have things rolling. The dominant day was finished when Shea Taylor recorded a pick six to put the exclamation point on Ohio's third MAC win of the year. The Bobcats will have some extra time off this upcoming week as they face Kent State on November 6th in the first midweek matching game of the season. Reporting for Bobcats Showcase, I'm Andrew Bowlby.